about that. Sound check. G'day, welcome back to another vocal analysis here at Voice Essentials. Today we are going to be looking at Billie Eilish sing my favourite song of Billie Eilish's No Time To Die. I think that's probably because I'm a bit of a 007 fan. This song just so beautifully speaks to that 007 haunting feel and the way Billie uses her voice to establish that intrigue and that intensity is just really wonderful and she's doing this in this performance at the age of 19 which is just it's amazing let's dive in and have a listen <laughs> We're going to be hearing Phineas, her brother, on the piano, but also doing harmonies. And the songwriting, the, the skill of the songwriting is, there's kind of a third performer here, the song, because these two, Phineas and Billy, have just written the most amazing piece. Now that is the quintessential sound of Billie Eilish. These days I have so many singers walk into my studio, female singers, and whether they're doing it consciously or not, they're producing this sound. This, this sound is so, dare I say, revolutionary. It has had such a massive impact and influence on the modern era of young vocals uh, that, as I said, so many young women uh, are, are emulating it consciously or otherwise and it really speaks to just just how big Billie Eilish is just goes to show that the blood you bleed is just the blood you owe. Mm. hear how she just sat that low note it was just, just there. You know, I mean, for for that voice to sort of get down there and just and maintain the the breathy uh, orientation of it, but hold the core tone. It's the core note is still there. It's very clever. Just also, the other thing, the other interesting thing about her overall sound is the vibrato. If we go back 30 years, um, vibrato was something that, you know, we were teaching singers to remove, contemporary singers, to remove from their sound and, and you know, maybe use it at only at the end of phrases. But yet here we hear she's just using it beautifully to colour notes, to colour phrases, and, and it, it has this sort of a, a phasing effect which is really cool hear how she used that breath yeah breath is the key driver and communicator of emotion and she's holding us on her breath it's it's beautiful she's got us all just in this moment together and i also just because hopefully we'll get a look at it again i want to draw your attention to her alignment the way she's sitting on her chair she's not both feet up on the chair she's got one foot on the ground and it's grounding her which is really important in her being able to maintain an upright position so that she is able to breathe well and be able to you know, deliver what is a deliberately uh, over breathy tone for that emotion. But to to be able to do that, you need to be able to have better breath management. So she's doing very well. Stupid to love you. Was I reckless to help? Was it obvious to everybody else? 
I love this guitar riff. It's so cool. I think that's Hans Zimmer. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Let me know. I think that's Hans Zimmer. He's, he, I mean, Hans Zimmer, if, if that is who it is, um, is right into it. You know, he is so into this. You'd think, oh, he's an old, you know, fuddy-duddy. Nah, he is loving this just as much as the audience is that we can continue to hear screaming in the background. <laughs> to that i want you to listen to the clarity so down low she's giving in this this ambient breathy tone but the moment she goes into that upper register there's this clarity this really clean note and it, it suggests a really healthy sustainable voice and i've said this in other vocal analyses and i encourage you to check some of them out soft singing is significantly harder than loud singing yeah and because it's the way the voice has to be managed the way the vocal folds are having to come to, together and not only establish phonation the way the vocal folds operate and, and come together to to form sound but to maintain clean healthy sustainable phonation quietly it takes a lot of skill have a listen to this this top note Those fingernails are like weapons. the way she's finishing those phrases she's not and this is a contemporary stylistic choice she's not uh, completing the phrase with open vowels and then just little moments of closing the the n off she's actually choosing to go to the n and sustain the n which is giving us a real mm, yeah a real like a and it, it's effective on an n because we get that really nice line to it as opposed to, uh, yeah, and, and then just putting that N on a full stop. Have a listen to the way she finishes the phrase. It's very Billie Eilish-esque. There it is. I find it interesting that she's going to stand up at this point because this is where we do get a slightly pop belt tone coming up for bigger notes. I'm actually quite encouraged to see her stand for this so that she's able to be more grounded and more supported for the big notes coming up. That harmony line is Phineas in the background. I love the way he just sits in behind her. Beautiful. about that is I love the fact that she's standing for it I think that's great and the theatrics of what she's doing is with the, the head tilting back and it looks fantastic and it did sound fantastic the one challenge for us mere mortals we do have to be careful when we rock the neck back like that what can happen is we can create tension through the neck and and that can just 
lock the larynx down a little bit too much and and can create stress and strain unnecessarily now there is no question that that was a, a really clear healthy note for for billy and she executed it beautifully uh, but for us when we're doing that we probably want to wouldn't want to emulate that position that's just something for us to be mindful of The other thing that we do want to be careful of is see that sort of lifting of the shoulders. We always want to have our sense of our shoulders sitting down. In no way am I making a, a, a negative comment to what we're seeing with Billy here. She's in, she's performing, she's in the moment, her body is doing everything that she needs it to do in order to communicate the performance. But when it comes to us developing technique, and that's what we do here at Voice Essentials, this is a, a learning to sing channel. We want to maintain that, that balance, that even sustainable body alignment, which is so important for healthy singing. I love that last chord. Can I just, I'm, I'm going to play it again because I think it's, it's so 007. Have a listen. Mm. Love it. And that's, isn't that interesting? We, right at the end there, we get a real insight into Billy is 19. Have a, have a look at the little, eh, at the end. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just did. <laughs> Dare I be so bold to say that was super cute. Okay, so there you go, um, Billy Eilish. There's a reason why ones like Billy become international superstars because they can do that. And they can do that at the age of 19. I hope you've enjoyed today's vocal analysis. I do these vocal analyses every week. So make sure you subscribe so that you can check out the next one. And I very much look forward to seeing you again in the next vocal analysis video. I'm Dr. Dan. Sing well.